today I'm going to show you how to crochet a fancy face scrubby. You're going to need cotton yarn, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, and a four millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to begin by making a magic ring. You're just going to take the yarn, drape it over your four fingers and wrap it around. Let it fall like a X here. Put your hook under the first piece of yarn over the next and pull up a loop. Carefully grab your working yarn and we're going to do a chain one. Working over both pieces of the yarn, we're going to go ahead and don't mind how I hold my hook for this, it's just more comfortable. <laughs> we are going to single crochet five times into the magic ring, as I said, carefully working over both pieces of the yarn. Four and five. And then you're just going to go ahead and grab that smaller piece of yarn there and pull the magic ring closed. All right, now if you have a look here, hang on. So take a look, one, two, three, four, five stitches. There's your chain one from the beginning of your magic ring. We're going to close with a slip stitch. It could be a little hard um, to get your hook in there. And then just go ahead and close that round with a slip stitch. Okay. And now to begin our next round, you're going to do um, a chain one, and then we're going to work two puff stitches. So yarn over, push your hook through that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Hold on to those three loops, yarn over, push your hook back through the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then we're going to do that one more time, yarn over, push your hook through the very same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you'll have seven loops on your hook, okay? You are going to yarn over your hook and pull right through all seven loops that are on your hook and chain one to hold that together. We're going to do it again into the very same stitch, yarn over, and you're just going to go ahead and push your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, push your hook through, same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and one more time. Seven loops on your hook, go ahead and yarn over, and pull through all seven loops, chain one. You're going to go ahead and do this all the way around into every single stitch. You're going to be working two puff stitches in every stitch all the way around. Make sure that you do a chain, uh, sorry, yeah, a chain one at the top of each puff stitch. And by the time that you get to the end of this round, you should have a total of 10 puff stitches all the way around. <clears throat> go ahead and do that all the way around and then come back. So now that we're at the beginning, you're going to look for your chain one and close this round with a slip stitch into that chain one space. And then you're going to chain one to start the next round. Okay. Now look for the stitches and take note of where the, the chain ones are. We're working two puff stitches into this very first stitch of the round. Okay. So two puff stitches into the first one. All right, chain one, one more puff stitch into this very same first stitch here. Okay, chain one, you're gonna skip the chain one space that's above a puff stitch and go into the next actual stitch and you're going to work one puff stitch into that following one there. So we're doing two in the first, one in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So you're just going to go ahead and close that up. Do your chain one. And you're just going to keep on repeating this all the way around. So alternating, but being sure to work in the stitches, not in the chain one spaces above the puff stitches from the previous round. So you're going to do two in one stitch, one in the next, two in the following, one in the next. You're going to do that all the way around. Continuing on with that alternating pattern, just as I mentioned, in the actual stitches, not the chain ones. When you get to the very beginning here, you're going to close with a slip stitch. So now that you've closed with a slip stitch and did your chain one, we're going to work a half double crochet 
into every single stitch and chain one space all the way around. So this time we are working in those chain one spaces that are at the top of the puff stitches from the previous round. So you're gonna work a half double crochet in every stitch as well as every chain one space all the way around. Just gonna keep going all the way around to get to the beginning, close with a slip stitch and then come back. So now that we've gone all the way around to the beginning, closed with our slip stitch, just pull some of that yarn out, grab your scissors, and you're just gonna fasten it off, pull it right through, and get your yarn needle, go ahead and thread your yarn needle with that tail end piece there. And we're just gonna go ahead and hide our tail ends. I like to just kind of pull it this way so it really does a nice uh, closing it off. <clears throat> and you're just gonna go ahead and hide the tail end by weaving it in and out of some of the stitches there. Um, and you're gonna do that with the other tail end as well. And then you're done, you've got your fancy face scrubby. So I hope that you've enjoyed this pattern. Go ahead and have a look at the links in the description below and please like and subscribe.